To demonstrate how to do surfer crochet, I'm going to show you on my free crochet coaster pattern. There is a link down below the video where you can access this pattern. Okay, so to start, I'm going to use a three mil crochet hook and I'm going to use some fingering weight yarn. First of all, I need to decide where I'm going to start my design. So this is the front of my work and this is going to be the back. So from the front, I'm going to find the middle of my crochet coaster on the bottom, and I'm going to insert my hook here into this stitch. So I'm going to insert here, and I'm going to turn over my work. Okay. Now, the easiest way I find is to tie a knot onto your hook. So first of all, I'm going to leave a long tail because I want to be able to weave this in at the end. So I'm just going to put that around my hook, and simply tie a little knot. So there's my knot. If you want, you can add a double just to secure it. Now, the reason I've left a long tail is because that's going to help anchor my work. Okay, so now I've got my hook with my yarn knotted on top. So I'm going to hold my tail and I'm going to pull my hook with the yarn all the way through to the front. Okay, and your working yarn is going to stay on the back. So now I'm going to turn over my work so you'll be able to see the front. So here's my work after turning it over. You can still see the knot slightly. Don't worry, we can pull that through to the back just like that. Now, so that's my first loop. Now I'm going to find my next stitch. Now for my design, I'm going to go straight up. So I'm going to insert into the next stitch. If you would like your design to go somewhere else, you could decide to insert here or here. It's up to you. So I'm going to insert into my next stitch. So I'm going to go through to the next stitch. I'm going to turn over my work to show you. So here's my hook on the other side. I'm still holding the tail to anchor and I'm going to collect my yarn around my hook and pull through to the front. And I'm going to pull through there. We've got two loops on our yarn. Now just pull through the first loop and there is your first surface crochet. That's a slip stitch crochet. Now let's do another one again. So I'm going to go into the next stitch through, move my work back so you can see, collect my yarn around and pull all the way to the front. Two loops on my hook and just pull all the way through. We'll do one more. Through. Collect your yarn through to the front. And this time I'm just gonna pull it all the way through without having the two loops on my hook straight through. Now, if you're going to continue my design and straight through, and that's how to do surface crochet. To continue my design, I'm going to continue until I have 10 surface crochet stitches. Okay, once you've done your 10 surface crochet, leave about a 70 centimeter tail and pull your yarn through as if you are closing your surface crochet. Now I've attached my yarn to a tapestry needle and now I'm going to add in the lazy daisy design to my coaster. The first step, I'm going to insert my needle into the same place where my yarn has come out. So I'm going to insert just here. And now I'm going to create my first lazy daisy. So I'm going to insert and I'm going to re-insert above. So you can see it's here and now it's coming out here. And I'm just going to go all the way through. And I'm going to pull. Now I like to put my thumb on top to stop my yarn from getting knotted. So I'm just going to keep pulling all the way through. Now, now I remove my thumb 
and there is my first loop. And I've made this loop bigger than my surface crochet on purpose so the design stands out. And now I'm going to insert my needle one stitch above where my needle has come through to secure it. And now I'm going to reinsert my needle two stitches below to the side. So not through, but just to the side. There we go. Here we are, two stitches below. So I'm going to pull that all the way through. Remove my thumb. And now I'm going to do the same process for the next section. So I'm going to reinsert my hook into the same stitch. And I'm going to move up on an angle. And I'm going to lift my needle above my yarn. And I just like to hold on above the stitch just to stop my embroidery tangling. Release my thumb. And there's my second embroidery stitch. Now I'm going to insert behind and I'm going to insert parallel. Oops, parallel. There we go. To my second embroidery stitch. And now I'm going to go on the other side. So I'm going to lift my yarn over, insert into the same space, insert through, keep my yarn under, hold my thumb over the space. I'm sure a lot of people don't hold the yarn, but I've just found it, it's just easier for me. Remove my thumb and then insert to secure my embroidery stitch. And then I'll continue this again, this same pattern. So I'll go two stitches below, pull all the way through, and then I will repeat the process. So I'll do it once more with you, but I won't do it as slow this time. So through there, pull. Pull my yarn through. Insert here. Now parallel. To be here. Now, as you see, mine has gone a little bit too tight, so I can just open that loop slightly and I'll do the other side so it's symmetrical and secure and I like to repeat this one more time to finish my design and once you finish pull your needle through to the back so I'll just show you with this example. So I'll finish here, pull my needle to the back. Here's my long tail from my chain stitches, which I'll fasten off if I hadn't sewn it down. So I'll fasten that after, afterwards and just simply fasten off, tie a knot and weave in your ends. And then if you want to continue my design, you can add three leaves on each side or if you wish you can get more adventurous and add three little trees. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it was helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe and there is also a link down below and from there you can access other crocheting